just keeping the stream to catch up folks like normal. Just gotta make sure she's working before we get started. Should we just do like a stream starting soon thing and have it running for a few minutes? The issue with that though is I usually don't want to play music with it and then I get copyrighted on YouTube, which at the moment isn't a problem because I'm not monetizing anything, but when the time comes if I do end up monetizing things, it could just be an issue. Could just be an issue. Gonna start? Come on. What are you doing? No, you're, st you're still saying I'm offline. Oh, wait. There's an ad. Might be up and running now, folks. Might be up and running. We're gonna see. Oh, wait. Seems live. I think it's live. Potentially live. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, let's get the game back up. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for coming back there, folks. Pleasure to have you. Uh, it is... Wednesday, it's literally just the day after uh, I played Alan Wake yesterday. Um, I didn't end up getting any work today, surprisingly. Well, actually, kind of not really. Uh, recently, like, work has essentially just been spamming, looking for subs like crazy, but today was one of the days where they didn't actually have any calls sent out. Like, I didn't, I, not that I missed any, they just didn't have any, surprisingly. So, no work for me today. Gives me time to do some streams and then maybe hit the gym later if I'm up to it. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, also, apologies for the webcam in the last video. I didn't realize how grainy it was. Uh, not sure why it was doing that, but I think I got it fixed today. We'll see. Hopefully, it looks fine at the moment, but who knows? That might change. Otherwise, oh, let's hop right back into it. So, like I said, we are going to finish this off today. Hopefully, um, it's not too long. I, I took a quick look, and they say it takes about four and a half hours at casual play. And I'm not sure if I've been rushing through or if it's casual play, so I think we're almost done, because we're about two hours in. So, maybe another hour or two of gameplay, and then we're done this. And then once once I finish this, I'll probably take a break, get some lunch, come back later, and stream something else. I'm not sure what I'm going to stream later. Anybody has any suggestions, feel free to pop it in. Otherwise, though, here we go. Can we skip this? Yeah, okay. Confirm. Mount Red Tooth. Its top littered with man-made eyes that stare into the endless depths of space. As we've already seen this three times. Tonight, now. the champion of light will depend on them to pick out a message from the ether. Bum bum bum. Alrighty, so I wonder how much spiders we're gonna get attacked by this time. As history repeats itself. The man remembers the patterns. He knows that he needs the missing part for the telescope. That I do. Jesus, that's... Even their own sound drowns out the talking. Can I get in here? Oh, I can. Nice. I'm gonna radio back oh, up. Be. You guys are coming through for me. Uh, pretty little light. Oh, board. shit. Uh, hi there. That means there's a... <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I kind of screwed myself over there. I wasn't really paying attention. But we'll do this better this time. We'll do it better Red this time. Tooth. Can I skip this? Top no. With man -made eyes that so that is into the endless death number space. five? Six? Tonight, the champion of light Somewhere's will depend on them to pick out a message from the ether. Alrighty. As history repeats itself, the man remembers the patterns. He knows that he needs the missing part for the telescope. That's where the camera should be. Okay, let's kill these guys first. Where are they at? Oh, hi there. Look at that dog. This guy now. Oh, what game? Oh, I 
ran into that one. I think I am gonna grab the pump action oh, shotgun just because I haven't tried it yet. You guys are coming through for me. A uh, pretty little light just started blinking on my board here, and that means there's a caller out there. You know, when the hours stretch into eternity like this, when it feels like I'm stuck in a rut and just reliving the same endless night over and over. Oh, that's because you are, bud. Oh, wait, no, I wanna. Ooh, actually, there's something over here. Uh, we will refresh on this. As well, let's grab that. The atmosphere in the projection booth at the drive-in was charged, almost unreal. Despite that, the air felt <clears> cool <throat> and refreshing this late at night. It had been a hot day. The summer was nearing its end, but it wasn't over yet. OMG. Good thing for us, the summer hasn't even started yet. So I'm going to enjoy my two months off. Trip to Calgary. Just relaxing. Hopefully get a job actually teaching this year, not subbing. We'll see though. There are places where our world is worn thin and another reality brushes against ours. One such site is Cauldron Lake near Bright Falls, Washington. But there are others. That other reality is dark, vast, and malleable, always in flux. In its depths dwell vast forces and alien energies. They're dangerous. But in one of these places, if you know how, you can channel the power of that place and use it to shape reality. Almost like the Upside Down. <gasps> Connections. Wait, what? Uh, fuck it, I'll take a hunting rifle. <clears throat> fuck the shotgun. Guessing that's the motel over there. The darkness rose from the depths of Cauldron Lake and took Alice. It needed words. It needed me to write its way into our world. She was leverage, a hostage. I complied, but with a twist. I put in a loophole that gave me a chance to fight back. I was hunted by shadowy enemies, but I faced the darkness. I fought it with light. I drove it back. I saved Alice, but it came with a cost. I was trapped in the dark place below Cauldron Lake. Okay. So I was right in the last one, the fact that uh, <clears throat> we didn't actually make it out. Well, if you want to put alive in quotation marks, but we didn't make it out. We had to sacrifice ourselves to get Alice out. Which is why I'm just not sure how this is happening. Burbs. Okay, so it's strong, but extremely slow. I like it. Oh, the stairs block. Shoot. I'll keep using it for now. Oh, there's a light's not in it. Also, I've been clued in. How have we been getting batteries this entire time? I don't think I've picked up any batteries. Ah, standing in the light for too long, I should get rid of it. Okay. Bring it. Oh, I should probably switch weapons. Oh, damn it. I got a little cocky. I wanted to keep trying the rifle in. Oh, 
Ooh, buddy. You guys can take a lot of damage. There we go. No, I don't want the rifle. I want the thank you. Stories come naturally to us. We can't help it. There are many different worlds, many competing realities within our heads, fueled by books, television, even barely remembered childhood tales. There's an endless supply of fictional concepts more familiar to us than anything or anyone real. We have a far greater connection to the fictional characters we know and love than the random people we pass on the street. Our destinies and inspirations are shaped by lies, myths, and fables. I can see that. It's you! How dare you! No, wait. It isn't you. Haha, -ha. it? smarter this time. I, I suppose you'd better come in. I'll... I, I'll unlock the door. Nice. There you go. Alright, let's. Alright, what do we got from us this time? I know what you're thinking. Evil twin, supernatural powers. But most of the time, I just like to keep things basic. I want you to understand that. <laughs> like this. Need to get your hands dirty? No batteries, no moving parts, just physics. That's technology you can depend on. It's a classic. Speaking of classics, you need to be careful with this one, though. If the victim suddenly twists, you might end up cutting yourself. It's not really a workhorse, but I'm a sucker for this style. Now this is more like it. You've got slip-resistant grip. Believe me, you really want that traction once you're wrist deep in somebody. The blade's stiff enough so it won't open by accident in your pocket, but it's still really easy to open with just one hand. Now that's a big thing for me. I know what you're thinking. It's too big, too heavy. But sometimes you just need the extra oomph. If you're talking intimidation, this is going to do the job. Also great for dismemberings and whatnot. You know, the messy jobs. I like this guy. Can we play as him instead of a uh, normal? Uh, Please. I can't tell you how many things I've MacGyvered with this stuff. Or as I say, silence is golden, but duct tape is silver. Okay, now guns. Not a big fan. I mean, how are you supposed to really connect with somebody with a bullet? Through the head. I want you to understand that. I take pride in what I do. We can't both be worthless hacks, can we? Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking uh, Evil Island better than regular Island. Can we just play as Evil Island? It should make uh, the next game as Evil me, Island. This feels very strange. It seems like this has all happened before. I have the replacement part for your telescope, Doctor. I. All right. Uh, let's get it installed. Oh, there's stuff right here I missed. Flashbangs! Still don't think it would be that easy. I think we can give this a go, although I have this strange feeling that something don't will go Don't start wrong. it up yet! There's a problem with the cooling system. Yes, that's right. I remember. All right, let me think. If they're sabotaging it, they'll be at the primary coolant pipe outside. If you can secure it, we should be ready to pick up the signal. That is why you're here, isn't it? Exactly. Yes, it is. I'll take care of it. Before you go, if you have the time, I'd appreciate if you came up here and explained a few things. All of this is very strange to me. Sadly, we do not have time. I don't really want to talk to you. We're just going to get this done. Ooh, I don't know if I can go this way. 
Yeah, it might hurt a bit if I jumped off that. But we could probably jump off this. Oh, maybe? Maybe? Aw, oh, the game's not gonna be nice enough and let me jump over it. Okay, so we got some people over here. Hey guys! Oh shoot! Hi, how you doing? There we go. Oh, we got two big guys. Oh, no. Throw. Come on. I'm trying to throw a flashbang, but it's not working. There we go. Oh. oh, reload, reload, come on. There we go. Oh, it's flashbang actually worked, it wasn't that bad. Just getting the flashbang to work. The light, am I correct? You should be able to turn on the lights and secure the area that Doctor, way. Can you hear me? I think we're good to go. All right, I'll start looking for the signal. Please head back. Uh oh, walking off our path. And he's throwing cards at us. Peachy. They didn't like that. Hey, tumbleweed. I actually made a claymation with a tumbleweed in it once. Back in the good old days of high school. Yeah, I made a, uh, a showdown claymation. It was two cowboys. Tumbleweed goes by, does a close in zoom of their faces, and then one drops dead. Wasn't the greatest thing in the world, but it was pretty funny. Pretty cool. I wonder how Nick's doing. Nobody in my house. Oh shit, I got hit by something. I always tried to find those websites again, but I couldn't remember the. T well, I, I kind of had to idea of the title, but it never worked. I was never able to actually find it again. The Taken may well be the tool the darkness favors over any other. At some point, they used to be human, but whatever humanity they once had is long gone. Now they're just shells covered and filled by darkness. The Taken Mr. <laughs> throws at me are more grotesque and varied than the ones I first encountered in Bright Falls. But I know how to deal with them. I'd be lying if I said they don't frighten me. But I've survived worse. I can't let them stop me. Really, they're different from the older ones. They feel like pretty well the exact same thing. Other than the burb ones. The burb ones are a bit stronger. Yeah, they kind of messed that up. They should have had those guys spawn closer. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, actually, grab this. Fuck. 
find the signal? Yes. I don't think it's quite the same thing we had um, the last time. Still, we're definitely picking it up. Are we getting the complete signal now? I'm afraid not. Take a look at it yourself. I'm printing out a hard copy now. I'd like to ask you a question or two before that, though, if you don't mind. Fine, what do you want? What's on your mind, Doctor? Most people would find these events extremely disturbing, provided that they survive these creatures, that is. You seem to be quite adept at dealing with the situation. Why is that? Because we've done it multiple times yes. now. I was involved in... It's a complex story. I was in this small town, and a horrible thing from another dimension kidnapped my wife and manipulated me into writing this horror story that came true. I learned to fight it with light, and I managed to contain it and free my wife. But I was trapped in its world. Are you serious? Absolutely. So, I'm used to reality working in strange or even impossible ways. And I fought these things, not exactly like this, but close enough for a good while now. Of course, I have certain advantages. Was there anything else? What did you mean when you said you have advantages? At the risk of sounding like a lunatic, you reality do, don't is worry much about more it. fluid than people think. It can be influenced. I didn't take you for a mystic. I'm not. I'm a writer. And under certain conditions, I can, for lack of a better word, rewrite reality. Change things. That's absurd. But it works. But true, yeah. Assuming you <clears throat> believe this, why don't you simply, I don't know, write yourself some superpowers? It's not quite that simple. You need to follow certain laws of drama, I suppose. You need to think about consistency and symbolism. Often what you write isn't anywhere near as important as what you imply. There are things out there that will take advantage of your mistakes. You really believe in this? It's been looking Look at so far. Like that you've experienced some of this yourself. I will gladly admit that something exceedingly strange is going on. But this idea that you're somehow altering reality with your writing is ridiculous. You're essentially saying you're controlling my actions. Leaving aside the rational arguments against this, what gives you the right? Well, it's more like having a destiny. A path you're on. You're not aware of it, but there it is. If somebody changes it, what difference does it make? It's what every writer does. If you write something that affects one of the characters, they don't really know about that. I'm not a character. Are you saying that it's all right to take advantage of someone if they aren't aware of it? Look, all I meant was that if you're genuinely making all your own decisions, and those decisions lead to whatever destiny you have, what practical difference does it make? I suppose that depends on whether our destinies are determined by things like physics and probabilities, or natural reality, which is presumably neutral and impartial, or by some kind of an intelligence. If it's the latter, that intelligence makes choices based on some criteria. If we suffer as a result of those choices, there's a moral and ethical element involved, regardless of whether we're aware of its manipulations. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I can see that point. I... You're taking this very well. I thought you'd be angry. I suppose I would be if I thought you could actually do this. <laughs> Another printout. Another signal fragment. The message is still not complete, but it's another piece of the weapon he has built against his Am I gonna have to do this a third time? Mere words on a piece of paper, but in the right hands, they will hold back the darkness. Alrighty, off to the drive-in. The last time the man came to the drive-in, it did not end well. He hopes to avoid that fate this time. He hopes that what he has brought with him to this place is enough. Probably not. Usually never is. Ugh. Serena's probably out of her mind again, but I'm gonna need that key so I can get the power back on. You again? I'm really just here to get the keys so I can get the power back on. You wanna hold me down? It's okay. I know you like that. Yeah, I'll just grab the keys. I could be like your wife, little wifey, waiting at home for hubby. Or you could be the mailman. Or the neighbor. Jesus Christ. Woman. I'm already married. You've to got someone some cases. Crazy. Thanks. I'm just gonna go and get the power back on. Aww. 
Look, I may or may not be back. I have the access code to the booth already, so once the power is on... You should totally come see me. We could have fun. You know. We'll see how it goes. Extra flares that we don't need. Oh. Resupply and ammo that I probably really don't need when we take it anyways. I was about to do the weather, but uh, I see we have a caller. Uh, hey, you're on the air with Eddie. What's up? Who's hey, Eddie, it's Ricky. You talked about fate before. You think about that a lot? Not a lot, to be honest. But... I'm not going to bother talking to you anymore. I'm going to grab this, though. To change the world, you must craft a blueprint for the new reality. Any work of art will do, as long as it's a genuine act of creation. That's what the energies of the dark place respond to. The results may be subtle and perplexing, or far-ranging and momentous. My area of expertise, the written word, gives much more precise results than music or interpretive dance would, for instance. But words can be extremely dangerous. What you define may become reality, but so can that which you imply, even if you don't realize you're doing so. Wouldn't well, the darkness actually want something more like interpretive dance, though? Because it's interpretive, thus giving it freedom to control it how it will. Unlike written word, where you it's it more yet, uh, set in place. Oh, gotta reload. else? No? Okay. Head over here and check out this box. I don't have enough to open it, but we're gonna find out. Thirty? Oh no, we don't have thirty. I thought it was opening. That's why I got a little excited. <gasps> Mine is only a sawed-off shotgun though, so it's not really worth it. At least not my opinion. More cars, I guess. Oh, I tried to dodge, but it wouldn't let me. So this is actually going to be a bit of a problem. What do we have? We have a hunting rifle. Yeah, two of the bird guys plus a big guy to try to dodge. Then make it a little tricky. So, let's grab the flare, because I've never actually used the flare yet. Let's see what happens. Not sure if I killed one. No, I didn't. I tried dodging and it didn't work. Oh, I got stuck in the car. Okay. So flares aren't very helpful either. So death counter is about seven. Oh, I didn't realize that I had that equipped it. One down. The accidental rifle shot was actually very helpful. There we go. Now we can focus on the big guy. See, when you actually get the pattern figured out, it's not that hard at all. It's just getting into that rhythm first. I want to talk about Alice. Okay, go just ahead. Just look at her. 
She's really beautiful, isn't she? Yeah, she's Your not bad looking. Well, hey, girl. Yeah, wife, I'm uh, really. gonna be finishing it up today. Just my last name. Don't worry. I'm not gonna treat her like the others. She's special. If I wanted her dead, she would be. I've been around for a while now. So talented. You haven't seen her new work, of course. Oh, it takes my breath away. Really? Well, it's, it's the same good. game. It's just uh, we're in a time loop. So we're revisiting the places we already were. Just with different stuff. Did you know that I've got a wedding ring, too? We're that similar. She's seen me a couple times, you know. I've let her catch glimpses. She thinks she's imagining things, of course. She thinks you're dead. It might as well be. I mean, even if you manage to keep surviving, you'll be in my trap forever. So I'll go to her. It'll be an amazing moment. Oh my god. You're alive. I'll be the good, loving husband for as long as I can stand it. She'll love it. Uh, probably quite a bit. <laughs> and then, one day, somehow, it'll happen. Oh, wait. Did, Maybe I'll slip up. Did you see me start there. American Nightmare? Maybe or she just starts running did you only watch the first Alan Wake? And then, I'll do it. It's going to be sweet. <sighs> My darling wife. Ah, there's the thing then. Yes, technically this is a different game. We are playing Alan Wake American Nightmare, which takes place after the first one. We are currently in the darkness where we put ourselves to save Alice and we're trying to get out. Yeah, within this, though, there's a time loop. We've already gone through all these sequences once, and then it restarted us back at the beginning, and we're doing it again, but with slight differences. You're like a little hamster in a wheel. Go ahead and keep running for all the good it'll do you. Oh, you were closer than I thought you were. Another guy. Apparently not. Apparently not. Alright, let's see if we can open this one up. I doubt it though. Oh, 20, maybe. Assault rifle, let's check it out. on that so we'll keep this out and refill it so like last time we need to make it all the way around here into the building and then flick the power switch oh I see webs we're gonna have to deal with spiders oh they're in here rip Ripper, you know. Take that, thank you very much. Alright, so last time, it was this one. And this one. It's gonna be the same? No, it's not. So we've only got the center one blinking. Let's try all three.
Maybe they have to be flipped in a certain order? God damn it. A lot easier than this last time. Spider sounds are getting real creepy. Okay, let's start with the center one. Ah, there we go. And there's the spiders. It, but then that happened. Wait, where am I going? Not right there. Did I go the wrong way? Oh no, over here. No more spiders? Is that it? Okay, I was actually expecting a lot more from that with the spiders. I figured they're gonna chase us all the way through here. Okay. So can't go through there. I think I did the exact same thing I did last time where I went too far. I did too, yeah, because there's the entrance right there. If you die, you lose. If you quit, you lose. If you make it to the end of the loop, you still lose. <laughs> Sucker. Oh, motherfucker. There we go. See, two big guys with one of the birds isn't that bad. Either way around, it's a little bit more difficult. The big guys are slow, not as aggressive as uh, the birds. Thing as before. Darkness takes over, pipes start bursting out. Can I thank you, game? Fill the ammo on this one, even though I'm gonna stay switched over. Alrighty, where's pipe frame number one? Right there.
Easy peasy. the creatures, kill the pipes, kills the creatures as well. Oh, well, except for maybe those ones. Oh, hi, 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 hi. Oh, I wasn't expecting so many of you. The Champion of Light knows that the time itself is about to end. At least for him. He can feel the dead end rushing towards him. But there is time to act. Incomplete or not, he has the weapon. It was late. The summer was almost over. The there was a film or well, poster enough. visible. And a spotlight illuminated the red fire extinguisher. Okay. Not that. Those are the same two as last time. Oh, there's a red fire extinguisher. And there was a poster visible. what we did but we did something enough. <laughs> you're trying to be cute aren't you what are you up to it's a waste of time buddy you should just lie down and die let me take over this is the only thing you've got coming to you from here to eternity no matter how many times you come back Okay, so now we got to do this a third time. Time folds back on itself. Again, his senses scream as the very impossibility of what is happening assaults them. But the Champion of Light endures. Uh, not quite. When we threw ourselves into the darkness to save Each Alice, there was a darkness a copy of ourselves Each now, and the, the, that version of the darkness is trying to place. keep us in here. Now, the trap works against the Herald of Darkness. Yeah, so the darkness copy, in Bright Falls, it, it's only copying us, it could be anything. Birds that were more shadow than flesh and feathers. But this is an evolution. Some of the Taken were actually capable of turning into a flock of birds to escape my attacks and turning back into human form to make surprise attacks. Burbs! Ooh, a flag. More flash grenades, I'll take it. Oh, oh shit. Circular saw. Holy shit! What are you, the King Hillbilly? Jesus Christ. That wasn't terrible. Tor and Odin Anderson, old gods of Asgard. I still don't quite know what to make of them. That they're amazing old I men that I aspire to be. Rock stars who modeled their stage personas after Norse gods. I know they're old. I know that in their day they fought the darkness as I do. I know they're demented and insane. 
ravaged by age and self-abuse. But there's something in them, something powerful that took hold when they were touched by the powers beyond. A thing that goes far beyond just stage names. Something, something godlike. God -like. Maybe they are actually Tor instead of Thor. And uh, Odin. Who knows? Who knows? <coughs> Right on cue, bubbling to the surface from untold depths. The, the horrors came. The emerging monsters do not expect the warm reception that is already being prepared for them. Oh shit! Everything's already done up and ready. That saves us a hassle of having to do too much. See what happens when you put somebody on a loop too many times there, uh, Mr. Scratch. You cause other people in the world to realize what's going on and help out. The darkness still on you. Woo! Hi there. There we go. Next stop, saving Emma. Oh, yeah, we have never actually gotten around to saving her. Every time we try, she dies. There's a manuscript over here, so we're gonna grab it. Somewhere. There it is. I don't make friends easily. I know plenty of people, but I don't let most of them close. I've known Barry Wheeler Praise ever Barry. since we were little boys. We had the time of our lives. I'd get us in trouble, and he'd talk us out of it. Things haven't changed that much now that we're grown ups. He's the most loyal and dependable person I've ever met. And all the things that count, anyway. You could call him a weasel, and you wouldn't be entirely wrong. You could call him a clown, and I would reluctantly agree. But he has never let me down. And those are the type of good people. You can be a weasel, you can be a clown, as long as you do what's right. <laughs> Alright, and there's a manuscript page on this pole somewhere. Right there. Getting the Andersons into the recording studio was a struggle and a half. But once they actually picked up the instruments, something happened. They were two old men, and they weren't. They were doddering bags of bone, and they were barely contained power. And there was music. Barry rubbed his hands together. He knew how to pick a winner. Now all they needed was some direction on how to make things a little more modern. Barry had never produced a thing in his life. But he knew what he liked. He knew Balance Slays the Demon was going to be a hit. <laughs> Is it bad that this time I just went, oh, he's gonna be running 
<laughs> Not as low as I show up, I guess. Come on, we're gonna land. Hey, there's one. There's two. <laughs> Come here, Tubby. Clear now. Yeah, thanks for saving me again. I'd hate to die before I'm scheduled to be murdered. I guess I have you to thank for setting everything up at the oil derrick. Yeah, well, I figured that if we were going to go over this again, we might as well try to be smart about it, huh? Yeah, I appreciate it. You took a big chance doing that. Are you okay? What do you think? I've died twice. I remember everything pretty clearly now. You said I was going to be okay. I don't know what happened. Well, it's not your fault. I think one of those, what did you call them? The, the takers? I think Taken, they did something yeah. to the power and they got me that way. I'm sorry. But I got the keys from the dead guy in that room. And I'm not handing them over until you do something about this. I'm sick of getting killed. Fair enough. Okay. Seem, uh, not seem. We'll, we'll check things out. Oh, the nail gun. Eh, actually, no, I'll keep the submachine gun. I know, I'm supposed to go this way. Ah, right there. Emma wasn't sure exactly when the man arrived at the motel. But from what she could tell, the party started almost immediately. It was infectious, spreading from one room to another. He was mercurial. Almost as if he was flickering through the scene, telling a joke here, throwing an insult there, oozing sex and violence and excitement. She had never seen someone like this before. He looked at her and smiled, and she felt her heart flutter a little. She knew he was the kind of man mothers warn their daughters about, but she told herself it didn't matter. <laughs> Alrighty, what message does the fuck have for us this time? So I've been thinking about Barry. Leave Barry alone. I don't know what to do about him yet. Leave him alone. I mean, I'm not gonna keep him around. What? That's for sure. Barry's a good guy. Al. Al! Ugh. Little parasite. Your best friend. Really? That's the best you can do. Alright, so yeah, this fuck is now dead. Fuck him for threatening Barry. I actually kind of like the guy. There He's you a go. He's lucky little butterball. It plays the clown. That's a hard road to take. <laughs> but I don't need him sticking his fat face in my business. <sighs> Did you know he's been hanging out with the sheriff from that shitty little town? They keep in touch. Barry's about the only guy who insists that you're not dead. How about that? <sighs> And that's why we love Barry. I might keep him alive for a while. <laughs> Just to see him go to pieces when I fire his ass. That's just <laughs> rude. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh, wrong button. I was hitting Q trying to walk forward. Ooh, well, hello, folks. Probably pick those flares up. I could use them now. I actually have space for them.
Really, that's it? We just need to flip a switch and she's perfectly safe? Alrighty then. Okay. I really don't think they can get to the power now. All they have to do Thank is flip you. a damn switch. That's a relief. Um, here's the keys that you needed. And she just trusts me you. as if I did something. Hey, I have to tell you, at the diner, I went there with him. The guy who looks like you, okay? I know I said that I didn't. Yeah, I figured. Oh, I'm not gonna bother. Boop. I'll take that, thank you very much. The fate of countless individuals hangs in the balance, threatened by the machinations of the Herald of Darkness. Oh. And yet, for a moment, the Champion of Light breathes a little easier. He has saved one life. For this moment, it is enough. And soon, perhaps, he can put an end to this. I doubt it. Returning to the observatory for what he hopes is the final time, Me too. the man feels anticipation and dread in equal measure. Soon, he knows he will have what he needs. I'm hoping, because I really don't want to do this again. Three times is pushing it. Hello, I was expecting you. I've already taken care of the imaging array, but you should still look into securing the primary cooling system. With some luck, you may be able to find the air. Yeah. 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 show up. And award-winning photographer, Alice Wake. Ooh, Alice. Alan Wake. Is that a sore subject for you? Well, a little bit. Of course it is. The way I see it, we had our good times and our bad times. And, and on the whole, we had a lot of good times. But all the doors are locked, so how am I supposed to get in there? Ah, that's how. I gotta wait long enough for them to open it. Woo, no striping, buddy. There we go. again. Throwing another car at us. This is all fine and dandy. Nothing to worry about. Flying cars are a normal thing. Dead. There we go. Manuscript page right there, so just gonna grab it. When Dr. Rachel Meadows got the call from Michael, telling her to hurry to the observatory, she didn't waste any time. It had been a nice party. She'd had a good time, but her social life would always play second fiddle to the mysteries of space. Michael never showed up, of course. He pulled over at the wrong rest stop. She never even thought about him at the time. The phenomenon in the sky Aww. above her was too fascinating. That's the dead man. Now, I think I saw... I did, yeah. The film noir poster reminded me of Alex Casey. 
the detective's cool exterior never cracking even with the gun pointed in his face. In the back room, all the lights had been turned off, except for the lone spotlight which illuminated the bright red fire extinguisher on the wall. This act of creation is exhilarating and frightening. Subtext and symbols loom eager to take effect. Causality and consequence become domino chains that stretch into infinity. The more fundamental the change, the more unpredictable the variables become. Reality is too complex to control completely. Ordinary questions become meaningless. Who created who? What is really real? Everything is as real as everything else. You learn to let go of the things you can't control and go with the flow or, or go, go insane. insane. That all of them? That's all of them. <laughs> and of course, they give us three heal things, but they're all gonna break. Un, dos, tres. Oh, you're right there. No, I'm just gonna ignore everybody. I don't really have ammo to fight everyone, so we're just gonna piece the fuck out. Really? Didn't even let me try to dodge? Just in case. Ah, oh, you son of a whore. Grab that ammo. Cause I definitely did need it. Come on in. All right, let's go for our system. This is what you look like. Does that bother you? I bet it does. Did you really need to I'm show us mirror in your face? You know, it goes a lot deeper than that. There's a lot of you and me. All the best parts. At first, I was just an idea. But they kept telling all those stories about you. You already had that rep. And then you disappeared mysteriously. And then, the stories about bad, crazy Alan Wake came true. And here I am. That's the best part, isn't it? When that happens, you can always count on Cauldron Lake. <sighs> I'm just as real as you are. And I'm the improved version. No fears, no doubt, no weaknesses, no self-deception here. I don't let anything drag me down. I know you like I know myself. I know it bothers you that I'm like this. That I use your name, crawl my way into your life. But I only do it because... I'm better at being you than you ever were! All right then. So he came to life because of the stories other people told about my different disappearance. That's pretty cool. Cal! I need to protect the telescope, but we can't complete the signal.
with the fucking guys of Asgard, the old gods of Asgard. That's what we're going for. Anybody else? There we go. Not exactly sure what just happened there, but the lights came on for whatever there reason. I have it, but I wish these things would stop blatantly violating the laws of physics in my observatory. That's just rude. Are you all right? <laughs> I'll live. I'm glad. I'll send the lift down to you. Don't feel long enough. I remember enough. our previous encounters very clearly now, but technically. If this really is a loop in time, we've never met before. I don't know why our awareness persists, but it's bloody fascinating. Oh, so you're not angry at me anymore? That's good to know. Doctor? You know, I know physicists who would give 15 years of their lives for a chance to experience something like this. I'd imagine that being stalked by horrible axe murderers would curb their enthusiasm a little. Clearly, you've never met hardcore physicists. She has a point. I'm glad you're in such good spirits, but. The signal! Yes, it's completed! Finally! Oh, uh, do I want to talk to her? In a strange Not way, really. he feels at ease. He is armed with his own words, and when the time comes, they will be enough or they will not. For now, he's content to let the currents take him toward the final confrontation. Perfect, because I don't want to keep doing this. Ugh. Now, what all am I going to do this? He returned to the drive-in. If he's aware of the absurdity of arming oneself with a few sentences and standing against a power that can pierce time itself, he doesn't show it. Ah, it's going to spawn me right the beside the power plant. Share of weaknesses, perhaps more, but cowardice is not among them. <laughs> oh, you got yourself a little plan, do you? Uh-oh. Here, big fella. Have this. There's oh, the door closed behind me. Just a tiny bit to get through that, but we did it. We did it. Apparently, a manuscript page over here somewhere is right there. The dark place is utterly hostile to human life. It eats at your mind, wants you to succumb to madness. Your own thoughts can turn against you. Every shadow conceals a threat that attacks at the slightest sign of weakness. You're under endless assault. Every day is a struggle for survival. Every but day. I've learned to take care of myself. I focus on Alice, our life together, my need to be with her. That takes me a long way in the dark place. As long as I have my gun and the flashlight. Yeah, without that flashlight, you really would be fucked, wouldn't you? I don't know why instead of targeting me, he doesn't just try to break all the lights. That would be the smart thing to do.
This is gonna be interesting. There are a lot of enemies. I gotta redo the entire thing. Are you kidding? Once more, oh. you return to the drive-in. <laughs> That's a pain in the if ass. Aware of the absurdity of arming oneself with a few sentences and standing against a power that can pierce time itself. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Show it. The man has his share of weaknesses, perhaps more, but cowardice is not among them. <laughs> oh, you got yourself a little plan, do you? Guys, take care. There. Top pack up on those. Do I need to pick that? Nope. Okay. Go this way this time. See if this is a dead end. I don't this takes us directly to where we're supposed to be. There. Got rid of a decent chunk of enemies already. We're not going to be trying to take on as big of a horde. Mind you, there should still be more. Oh, they're not going to spawn the other ones? Okay, I'll take it. For Serena Valdivia, burning the midnight oil was more of an exception than a rule. A procrastinator and a perfectionist, she often worked when she wouldn't be disturbed. Tonight was especially important. The film festival would open tomorrow, and there was still so much to sort out. It wasn't that the work hadn't been done. She just didn't feel like she had completely mastered everything yet. So that must be the horny chick. Ooh, another flashback. One, two, I'm just flipping switches until it works. This is super safe. Wait for this to jump on, then we'll run through. Okay, that did nothing. 
Take a moment to prepare. Oh no, we can't go. Oh, damn it. Can't go that way. Wait, jump over. Ah. Okay. Never getting out of this wake, never! Don't worry, I'll take care of your wife and your life! If you say so, Bob. Oh, jeez. Intense. Not overly difficult though, just gotta take your time. Almost died though. You got me close. Bigger issue is I now have no support items to help me take out the pillars. Ooh! I don't know what you think you're doing, but I'll send you right back to the beginning. So we're almost out of ammo. What? You think whatever it is you're gonna do is gonna make a difference? Yeah. This will end up just like before. No, probably not. Not how plot works. Oh, there's a TV in here. Listen to this There's first. more to fighting the Taken than just burning away the darkness that protects them. When I'm fighting for my life, I find myself slipping into a state of intense concentration that makes the beam of my flashlight seem more powerful and focused. I you better not have buried. my imagination, something brought on by the adrenaline and fear. He's of got death. buried. There's a bigger issue than so surviving. Sure. I've been touched by powers that I can't begin to truly comprehend, and they've left a mark. I'm starting to think this might be a part of it. I've been around for a while now, you know? While well, you've been indisposed, this. I've been busy. But I do my best work in the dark. Uh, and there's so much darkness out there. It goes deep, and the things that live in it are fast, big bastards. They don't mind getting a little bit of elbow room. All that chaos and madness, it 
doesn't really do that much down there. It's like pouring a glass of water into the ocean, right? Just make sure nothing's gonna sneak up on us. Up here? Yeah, you can really make an impact. All they need is someone to bring them all the way through. But first, I had to take care of you. You party oh, pooper. pooper. I'll poop on all the parties I want to. You're stuck in an eternal cycle now. The sun's never coming up for you. That's what you say, but I'm pretty sure Everything we're close else? to having it come up. Do my thing in a bit of quality time with Alice. <laughs> That's a little something for me. The fuck was that noise? Like was that And I deserve it. Is that supposed to be like a sexy lip thing? Because he's gonna have a long time with Alice? I'm confused. Again, this is supposed to be nightmare mode. Which I'm not sure if it's the hardest mode, but it was the hardest mode given to me at the beginning. It's at the very least hard mode, because normal mode was underneath nightmare mode. Okay, I'm falling both. Again, the champion of light enters the final trap. The new reality is almost here. All he needs to do is change the details of the scene, push it past the breaking point, and the rest will snap into place. Boop, boop. Rotate you. Flip you. All right, what was the new stuff? Uh, summer film, Alice's film was in the projector. Okay. How do we change that now? Pick up this. What do we slap it into? This? Now what happens? As darkness descends. Oh, come on, buddy. Why don't you... What? What is this? No! Ha! Suck it! No! my life that you borrowed for a little bit and I'm taking you back. Alan? Is it... is it really you? It's really me. the feeling that that's not how a like you've been gone for so long I thought you were dead reunion would go 
there'd probably be a lot more tears, a lot more hugging, maybe some kissing and whatnot, but that seems a little under dramatic for how it would actually be. A woman, a man, two lovers, held apart for far too long, enveloped in the light of a glorious dawn. They both feel it. He's home at last. Are these actual events, or merely a dream? A memory, or a glimpse of what is to come? One thing is certain. This scene takes place in another time, and another place, far, far away. From Night Springs. Bum, bum, bum. that everything we done all right so i guess that's the end of alan wake american nightmare it was an okay game i didn't mind it it uh just felt like a dlc add-on of the original alan wake which i think was the intention i don't think there was supposed to be any fancy dancy like second game or anything like that turn that down a bit. but yeah um yeah it's just supposed to be like an, an add-on type of thing I do believe it was sold in the art, like the Xbox Arcade. I don't think it was sold in the actual game. But again, wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. I had the same game mechanics as Alan Wake, so I'm a little unimpressed by that. I was hoping for a few new things. The Taken were essentially just reskins with a few bigger creatures added in. The spider idea was pretty cool, but they were a little weak and easy to kill. I'd say the most threatening thing in the entire game was the birds. That was it. Um, the game did feel pretty repetitive as you had to play through each area three times with minuscule differences, but it was still fun. If you enjoyed Alan Wake, I would say play American Nightmare as a little extra um, piece to it, because it was fun. I did still enjoy it, just like everything else. But not overwhelming, not amazing, or anything like that. So I'm just going to skip the credits here, see if there's anything else. There's arcade action. So we finished story mode. Collectibles? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, what's well, arcade action? Be nice and peaceful spot, but, but watch your back anyway. Ah, so I get the feeling you're supposed to just uh, play through, survive as long as you can. Let's let's check it out. Let's give one of them a try. Give it a shot. Okay, so fight till dawn. Welcome to arcade mode. Your objective is to survive until sunrise and get the highest possible score. You are awarded points for destroying Taken. Your score multiplier increases when you destroy enemies or perform a successful dodge. Enemy hits reset the multiplier to zero. The weapon chest in arcade mode can be unlocked by finding manuscript pages in the story mode. Okay. Come upon a moment of truth. Move fast. Aim true. Do not hesitate. Only the sun will save you. We're gonna survive for ten minutes. Still get the shotgun. In. I want the pistol. Ah, and the score multiplier does decrease as time goes on. So it's just a little survival game type. Nice little arcade thing to add on to it. We're just gonna run around and collect. Uh, no, I'll keep the nine mil. Oh, itchy. Oh, we're almost at a times two multiplier. Weapon crate over here. What's in this one? Three man blue for the SMG, we'll take it. Definitely my favorite weapon of the game. Oh, arm's just real itchy, for whatever reason. There 
rather generous with the weapons than flying around. Just gonna make sure that you can go around and actually collect. Oh, hi there. I would say your best bet then is to actually uh, let them come in close, do a few dodges. Well, as much as I'd like to keep it, I'm running low on ammo, so switch out. Uh, not bad so far. Oh, can't carry anymore. Ooh, flare gun. Not too bad so far. Mind you, we are only three minutes in. That's a flash grenade. Or a darkness flash grenade. Let's go take care of this guy right now. Times four multiplier. Get ready for the next wave. Oh, we're down to a three multiplier again. I heard somebody spawn. I'm not seeing anyone. Oh, there he is. Anybody else? Okay, so we got two, no, three guys. Oh, it's a big guy. There we go. Ooh, a times five multiplier. I'll take it, I'll take it. What do we got up here? Nail gun, pump action shotgun ammo. Oh, it's these guys. Okay, I have to get a oh damn it, I got hit. A little bit of extra help. Oh no, not good. Woo! Got a little bit more difficult there at the end. Flare gun. Let's get our multiplier back up here. Focusing in a little bit there, folks. Quiet a bit, that's just why. Oh shit, that's beachy. Let's get rid of this guy first. Seven minutes left, and I have barely any ammo. That's not good. You're not seven minutes left, sorry, three minutes left. Oh, hi, how are you doing?
but it's still helpful. Oh, jeez. Shoot. Wasn't paying attention to that. Aw, oh, damn it. Where's that guy at? Do I have enough to get this weapon crate? No, I do not. That's a combat shock. Oh, shit. Okay, let's start heading back this way. Now, there were some items I didn't pick up over there that could be useful. See if that uh, pistol, yes, the pistol's still there again. That's our current issue is no ammo. Jesus! There are so many people. Having to look over at the chat just has swung. Endless night. Two, three, still three started. That's all that matters. Had almost a five minute undamaged streak. Nice. But uh, to flash bomb, the flash uh, flash grenades in this one aren't as good. They don't insta kill like they did in the other one. In this one, they only uh, get rid of the the darkness, so you can start shooting them. For most people. But I'm going to end it there for now. I just wanted to check out this kind of good old board. I do like the little minigame aspect that they added to it, so that does add a touch more respect for the game. Uh, otherwise, though, folks, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go get some lunch. I'll probably be back later, because what time is it? It is... Ah, it's fine, Kyo. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, it's about 11 o'clock, so I'm going to go get uh, some lunch, take a bit of a break, come back later on in the afternoon and play something else. Who knows what? I'm not 100% sure. Couldn't take a look. But we'll see. Otherwise, though, folks, make sure you do your homework, and we'll see you next time.